old. She has no history of serious illness. And there is a swelling of the knees. And the hemoglobin is 10.5. And creatinine is 1.8. And uh, ESR is 40. And you can see the presence of a malar rash. So classically, she is a case of uh, systemic lupus erythromatosis is what you need to appreciate. 37 year old with type 1 diabetes. And the fundoscopic examination is still showing microaneurysms and hemorrhages. So which drug if you happen to give in this patient will slow down the worsening of the renal disease is a very important question. So AC inhibitors have that special advantage lysinopril if you happen to administer then the progression of the renal disease is being stopped is what you need to remember. A 50 year old is being admitted to the hospital within two hours of the onset of the nausea and vomiting and the acute crushing pain in the left anterior chest. ECG is showing the ST segment elevation. So if there is a ST elevation MI and uh, um, uh, typically within two hours the patient is being brought to you, what do you want to do? So ST elevation is an indication for thrombolysis. If it is less than 12 hours, you look whether any contraindications are there. If they are not there, do thrombolysis. If the thrombolysis is contraindicated, then you do the percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty. If she is not suitable for PDCA, you need to then think of other medical therapy. But if the person comes more than 12 hours, if the symptoms are persistent, then you need to initiate a reperfusion therapy is what you have to fundamentally understand. So, if the PCI is not available and the golden hour of two hours, if the patient is still falling in, you need to evaluate for the thrombolytic therapy. Now, what are the important contraindications you should rule out? Any active bleeding, history of CVA, any intracranial neoplasm, if the systolic BP more than 175, any history of trauma, or if there is any drug allergy, these are the things you need to basically evaluate is uh, what I like to underscore. A previously healthy 67 year old woman comes to the physician, increased muscle tone in the upper extremities which is greater on the right side than on the left and there is a decreased right arm swing. So whenever the right arm swing decreases, what does it mean? There is a high likelihood of Parkinsonism. Parkinsonism is because of a decreased dopaminergic input into the striatum is what you have to basically remember. 47 year old, family history of type 2 diabetes and uh, the serum glucose is 330. So what is the most likely cause for type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is because of insulin receptor level resistance. And type 1 diabetes is because of the insulitis and uh, destruction of the um, uh, beta cells of the pancreas. A previously healthy 39 year old is being brought. She had an upper respiratory infection two weeks ago. And there is a weakness of all four extremities. DTR is absent. What is the most likely possibility? Post-infectious demyelinating polyneuritis is the name which is being given to the gulen barre syndrome. So typically with a background of infection, fever, if somebody develops acute flaccid paralysis, you should think the possibility of gulen barre syndrome, poliomyelitis if it is asymmetrical, then transverse myelitis if there is a definitive sensory loss. These are the conditions that should come to your mind. A previously healthy 77 year old, there is no tremor, serum shows calcium of 9.1 and x-ray of the dorsal lumbar spine is showing the presence of a wedge fracture. 
and what is the most likely supplementation that is going to help this patient elderly people have osteomalacia with vitamin d deficiency and osteoporosis due to matrix <coughs> problem so they should be given a good supplementation of vitamin d 52 year old she describes that her stools are greasy they are foul smelling difficult to flush history of chronic alcohol abuse and the x-ray of the abdomen is showing the presence of the calcifications in the area of the pancreas which is a typical feature of chronic pancreatitis is the diagnosis when a person is having steatorrhea and abdominal x-ray showing the presence of the pancreatic calcifications it is a classical story of um, uh, steatorrhea is what you need to basically remember a 67 year old comes to the physician examination